All right, so like I said, remember, we're do no, no tubs, okay? No, just, we gotta be clear with no tubs. All right, so I've been told I gotta tell more of my, I won't say stories, but more of the, the things that have happened that people say, yo, you should let people know this is, this is kind of like the life that you live. All right, so let me just get to it. Industry rule number 4080. Industry rule number 4080. Like it cut me through till I'm shady. Industry rule number 4080. Like it cut me through till I'm shady. So I had an amazing crush as much as probably half of the music industry on Melissa Ford, right? Melissa Ford, Melissa Ford is famous for the Big Pimpin' video. She's also Shake Your Ass, Mystical, and probably seven other videos in any way's case. So I just had an amazing crush on her like half the world did. Anyway, and when I mean I say crush, like high school, like stuck, can't talk type dumb shit, okay? So what happened was that a friend of mine, his name is Lynn, I didn't know when I was working at a certain company that she was downstairs bartending for the for the for an event downstairs. So I was like, yo, and he knew that I that I that I had a thing for her that was that was insane, right? So I said, yo, go get her <laughs> and tell her that the AR dude from a record company needs to see her right away. Right? So he runs downstairs, he tells her this whole story, okay? She comes upstairs. I'm not even expecting her to walk into my office. So Melissa Ford walks into my office, right? And I'm trying not to act like a two-year-old. I'm trying to act like a grown man, but I'm definitely halfway stammering. So I basically said, look, I just wanted to meet you. I appreciate you. I respect your work and what you're doing. It's that third. And if it's, all, if it's okay with you, you know, we can exchange, you know, information. I get in contact with you. We could further, we could talk a little bit further more because I'm sure you're downstairs working on what you're working on. So we exchange numbers. Not an issue. At this time, I don't know if you know this, she was working in videos with Little X. Little X used to be Hype Williams AD, and then Little X became his own guy. Why is Little X important? Because if you saw the movie Superfly just came out, that movie he directed. Just give me an idea to connect dots of how these things kind of come together, right? So, me, so I call the office. She didn't give me her real number. <laughs> so I call the number, she gave me to the office, and I invite her out. So Little X, and the, and the management company says, you should go out with him because he, He's a dude in the game. He's not, you know, he's, he counts. You should, you should see what that turns into. So we go out to eat. I take her to, oh no, I take her, I take her on Central Ave. That's crazy. I take her to like an Italian restaurant on Central Ave for those that know that. So that was crazy. That was expensive. And I drop her off and I said, you know, I'm in a car. So I said, well, I'm taking you. She's like, I'm going here. So I take her to like 145th, I want to say in St. Nick. That's where she's staying. Now, for those that know, 145th is St. Nick. That's like where, that's, that is a land of the free home of the brave. You have to know what you're doing. Like, and, and this is Melissa Ford. I'm talking about pow, pow. Like, and, and, and she don't, and she's from Canada. I don't know. She's from Toronto, Canada. Okay. So she's just doing what she's doing. She's not recognizing that the impression that she's making, because one of the good things about her is that she's kind of comfortable with her own skin. She's not, she doesn't blow it up like I'm trying to be this person or that type of model. Anyway. I tell her straight up and down, you can't live here, okay? She's like, what do you mean? I says, you are in a dangerous area. You are going to get killed. You're going to get raped. You're going to get assaulted. She's like, no, no. I'm like, you absolutely will. Somebody's going to come take advantage of you at the right time. You're going to come up at the wrong hour. It's going to be crazy, right? She says, like, so what should I do? I said, you need to move. <laughs> She's like, where am I moving to? I said, I don't give a shit, but you need to move and figure it out, right? So she actually listened to me and... We ended up like walking and talking with her and helping out and stuff. She ended up moving to Park Slope. Okay? Uh, next spot, Park Slope, right? So this is how me and her became friends. I actually, because what happened is, of course, she spoke to her peoples about it. They kind of said, he's kind of right. He kind of should not be here on a consistent basis, right? So we became friends to the point of where, like, Melissa Ford would come to my office and answer my phones at work. The staff would lose their mind. Like, you have this video girl. I, I remember I called her one that said, I need help with my phone. She came down to the office, answered my phones, like, for two days straight. And people were like, what's going on here? Who is this guy? I was like, no, no, just, just, that's just my people's. And she held me down, too. Like, she wasn't, like, talking to everybody. She's like, no, I'm here to, 
help out Tally and take it done, right? All right, so I am trying to remember how this came about, but it hit me like last night. So we had a bet. This is how we came down. We used to hang out. Like we used to go to clubs and that type of thing. So we had a bet because the Sixers was playing the Raptors in the playoffs, right? And I think this might have been the first time the Raptors were even freaking good. Like Vince probably was still playing back then type thing, right? So I was like, yo, you're going to lose the Iverson. It's, it's a wrap. You're going you're, you're gonna to lose the Iverson. He's like, no, I'm not. So we made a bet. And I said, what's the bet? I forgot what the bet was for her, okay? It might have been something like I'm taking her shopping, some crap that I could not afford, right, type of thing. I said, yeah, but if I win, I get whatever I want. And she actually played into it, not in, a, not in an intimate way, but in a like, all right, let's see where he goes with this type of thing. Anyway, the Sixers beat the, beat, beat the Raptors. She says, what do you want? I said, I want a tattoo. She said, all right. I said, but you got to pay for it. She said, not a problem. So the very first tattoo that I have right here on the nape of my neck that says tally, Melissa Ford went with me to the spot in Mount Vernon. They all know, I think, I think it was Joe's tattoo is the name of the place, right? And Melissa's there, and I'm leaned over like this, and she's holding my hands the whole time, right? Because I can't move because it's on the nape of your neck, and it's the back and the spine, and the whole jump off, right? And she's, like, dressed like Melissa Ford, right? So jokingly, like, I'm staring at her the whole time, and she's letting me stare at her the whole time, and she actually, like, paid for the whole tattoo, and she got one that night as well, too. So that's the Melissa Ford story of how I got my first tattoo. Me and her remained friends until I, until I stopped being around the game a little bit. I think I saw her maybe three, four years after that. And it was, it, was, it was almost like seeing an old friend. We hung out. She took me out to eat. We hung out for like three, four days. Not even hang out. We probably spoke for a few days. And then that was the last time I hung out with her. There's, there's like more stories in there, but that's just the one that kind of makes the most sense.